when it comes to attack me, go thrust first. So here, I have to hit him. Boom, boom, I'm here. Coming in, elbow strike. So here, yes. So we'll go for the first takedown. So once I'm here, what you need to do is to take away the power of the shoulder. Like, yes, like just now, I'm telling you, this one. Once you're here, yes, change it underneath the elbow, raise the elbow. So if he's trying to pull his hand out from here, it will not have the same effect as him pulling his hand out from here. Because for him to use his, his hips now, he has to pull it downwards. When he pulls it downwards, it's actually helping you. See that? But I do not want to do that because it's too much of a whiplash movement. So he might not be able to save himself. In, in real life situation, you don't care. You know, if he hurts himself, you run away. So he's here. So thrust, I hit him here. Boom. Here. Boom. Leave a strike there. Same thing. Here. Raise. Cut. Yes? So again, like yesterday, I use him as, a, as, as that one. So now take a look at this. I change hands. I put this under my hip. So now I'm here. Step back. Yes? No, no, no. This. So with that ray, yes? As I disarm him, I want to step. As I'm stepping, I make sure that here, take a look at this, yes? I move this here. Look at his back foot, yes? As I step, that. That is what you look for. So you're not trying to push him to that foot. You're trying to push him. You might take a look at this, yes? If I push Ray, he will step back. There. That is where I step. So I'm stepping there. That's why he's stepping there. So now when he's here, what I need to do is I change direction and sweep. This. 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 So if I'm here, yes, I'm here, raise here. Then I'm, when I sweep, like yesterday, I change my feet like that. But I do an L, change, this. But when you do it smoothly, it becomes like a curve. There. Yes, here, it becomes like a curve. So if you take other martial arts, it will look like this. There. Boom, like that type of sweep. But we're not going to sweep him back there. If he resists, resist, resist, resist. I cannot sweep. So I change direction. Yeah. See that? So the thing is, you want the throw to be efficient without you using too much strength. So again, Ray. So again, he's Ray. There. So. Right. Insert. Insert. Defend. I'm there. See? There. So then you have everything. Next way. So again. Even at this one, take a look, yes? I'm hitting him. Hitting him. Leave a strike. Hit him floating ribs. This one. Once you lift it up, take a look at this, yes? This should be here. But for training purposes, you pull it towards your shoulder. Sorry, there. See that? Straight. Once you're here, if you wanted to, see your hands will be there. Hold it there, then. Okay. The knife is here, yes? Look at my elbow. Insert. So once I'm there, I'm actually pulling it in. Boom. Make sense or not? Here. Look. That. This is his face, yes? So I place it just by there. This is up. If it's here, push forward. Right? He's strong. Look at this. Here. Push right forward. He can't do much. Because this small bit from here to here, he loses his strength. Make sense or not? Take a look. Raise here, yes. Push. No, no, bend it. Okay, maintain and push. See how strong he is? Push, maintain. You see how he lost his strength? So that is why, once I'm here, I lift it. Once I lift it, I lift it some more. This is where he lost his strength. But, if I want to finish the technique off straight away, yeah, that's it. Boom. That's it. Elbow in. So once I'm here, I'm only maintaining that. This goes in. Loosen your grip. Now loosen your grip. I'm going to push your hand in. Okay? There. As I hit this in, boom. There. See that? Yes? So that's why if it comes to high, I'm here. Loosen your grip. Boom. It's true. It's true. But because it's soft tissue there, you don't actually have to elbow. If, unless you're a sadistic person. So, so that's why I'm here. One, two, three. This is enough. Boom, that's it, enough. But because it's seminar, I cannot show you that, which I just did. So hit. So you miss. Nah? You raise, you slash. 
then you insert it in his liver, but for training purposes, behind, on the top uh, collar, uh, shoulder bone. Press this down. Tap this down to his kidney. And make sure you release this so they don't break his thumb. Done? That's it. Yes? If he does not let go, you'll break his thumb or his wrist. Then once you're there, up extend, turn. This should be either the chin or the elbow to the chin. But for training purposes, I take his, the muscle here, so I push forward. But in reality, it's either this, or as I come in, it's this. That's it, done. But because seminar, you change that strike into a takedown. Yes? So again, so I've got this. One, two, three. Then, oh, don't give it to me, I'll take it. If you give it to me, it'll never work. Then, that, this up. That's it. Yes? But because seminar, then I have to show you take down because it's something that you could simulate and do. So he's here. Then, I cut, insert, some. Then, that. see that? Then once you're here, tap this, sit him up, break the neck. That's it. If you've got a bad neck, don't do that, do this. Move back a little Same movement. So. Then, here, pull him up. See, I'm still pushing the neck. Insert this under your armpit, bend the elbow, then dislocate the shoulder. Then you break the neck if you want to. Thank you. Morning, Ray. Morning, Ray. <laughs>